Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so today I got a package in the mail. I ordered a guillotine chopper from Amazon. It's called the Morph, the Moforn paper cutter gu guillotine trimmer, 17 inches. And I got this size because I wanted to get the size that would work for my A3 prints, which are the 11 by 17 prints. Um, so I've waited to unbox it now because I wanted to unbox it with you guys and show my first, like, first reactions to everything. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to unbox it with you and then talk about my first impressions, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how it works and see if it can work for my A3 prints because we have the convention season coming up and I needed something that was sturdy and it was going to work for my prints. Um, but yeah, let's get into the unboxing and let's figure out, see if it works for what we need to. so that'll be fun. This does look like it broke something. We've already made a line in the red, so it's definitely making a cut line. Okay, but how do we crank the gate down? <laughs> and then I pulled this thing off, which is like a guard. And I don't even know how that goes back on there. This was here. This, I don't even know where this was. I don't even know where this is at. <laughs> out here with us oh my god oh I know how it goes it goes like this no I'm I lie I don't know anything no it goes like this Okay, so my review is 
so you may have saw me struggling. I can't speak. Let me do it again. Okay, so you may have seen me struggling really hard to get this thing put together. And the reason is because in shipping, this bar right here is basically screwed on backwards. And so it can't actually turn. It hits this this little guide right here. So what you have to do is unscrew this piece and then re-screw it on the other way so that you can spin it. And that allows this gate to be pulled up and down so that you can clamp it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now and then we'll see how it works. So here's just like a little, um, you know, single bound notebook. And I'm just gonna see if I can cut this in half with this cutter. It's supposed to be able to cut up to like 200 sheets. So hopefully this works. Okay, so there's grease on it, but it chopped it in half. Did a pretty good job. Clean cut on the edges all the way through the cardboard, so that's a good job. But yeah, it looks like there's some grease on it or something. I wonder if that's from the blade itself. So here's the trim test. We gotta see if it cuts these prints, because that's what it does. Back edge for the top, and then slide the front once I know how much on this side I need to crop. I should probably mark a line or something. I know what Again. Did it cut straight? Did it cut all the way through? No, it's going to take two cuts. Okay. Okay, it does look like it cut off all the residue that time. We'll see if it left a residue or anything. 
Okay, so I did leave a little bit of a residue. But I think a solution to that would just be to put a top sheet down. And it does have a little bit of pull at the back for it not being perfectly aligned. So maybe you just need to feed through a little bit more. So I'm going to have to work on my margins, clearly, because that was a little too close to the edge right there. But the cutter itself does work, and I think the prints look a lot more professional. Well, okay, so we're noticing that not all the prints had equal borders, so these two, not quite. But let's see. I was assuming that because, but then again, these are old prints, so let's, let's cut the remaining off the two bottoms. So again, yeah, the prints aren't exactly equal. takes less time than traditional cutting um again i think the thing is if you have the same print multiple times your borders are going to be exactly the same based on the way that your computer spit it out so um that's something to note it's not always going to be perfect if your prints aren't exactly the same but it does work really well and it has really straight even cuts no like feathering of the edges they're really crisp um, overall, I think it's a good cutter. It is hard to set up and it is very heavy and very large, so keep that in mind. But if you're trying to cut stacks of paper all at once or stacks of print, I think this is a good option. Hi everyone. Um, as you can see, it's a different day now. So 
Um, the video I filmed was actually filmed last week and I didn't have a chance to upload it until now And then I just realized after going through the footage that I didn't film like a closing on the video so I just kind of wanted to go over everything and um, Talk about maybe the pros and the cons of this um, This cutter and uh, see if it's like worth the value for you so um, Also, I look like trash because I woke up late this morning and did not have a chance to get re really uh, ready for work. So Yeah, that was that was fun and this is permanent on the internet. So Go me. Um, so yeah, um, let me talk about the pros and the cons really quick and I'll throw them up on the screen Also, the product will be linked down below. I bought it on Amazon, but I'll link the actual thing So if you want to pick one up, you can do that Okay, so for pros, we've got it cuts really well. It's accurate. Um, there's no tearing of the edges, so it cuts really sharp and clean edges, which is good for professionalism. Um, you can cut multiple sheets at once. You can cut up to 200 sheets is what it says online, but um, I definitely used it to cut five prints at once and it worked really well. And then I cut that little notebook in half, which I would say is probably around 50 to 75 sheets and it cut really well. And it cut through the cardboard backer too. So everything looked clean. So that was really well. Um, it's easy to chop. Like it doesn't take a lot of strength to chop it and I should know I'm really weak. So um, yeah, it's not hard to use. Um, the little guard on the top, you just have to press that button down and then pull the lever down and then it chops really clean and accurate. Um, and like I said, it's not hard. Um, it is professional grade, so everything looks really sharp and clean. As far as I could tell, all the lines are accurate and straight. I didn't have any problems with anything shifting around or cutting crooked um, once I cranked the gate down properly and everything was squared up. So, you know, if anything happens wrong, it's probably your own personal error. I know that for me, it was my own error as a consumer or as a user. So I can't blame the machine for that. Um, cons, we have a few cons here. Um, hard to set up. There was no instructions included in the box and it was really hard to set up. Um, it came damaged, um, the feet, it has little rubber guards on the bottom to keep it from like scratching your table. The feet were broken, so it arrived that way. I don't know if it's just because it wasn't shipped properly or what, but something to watch out for. Um, it's very heavy and very cumbersome, and I'm talking like maybe 30 pounds, 25 to 30 pounds. Um, and it's, it's big, it's large, so it's hard to carry and move around. Um, it also takes up a lot of space. Even now, like I don't really have a place to put it, so right now I just have it on the ground, which is not, you know, like great, but until I can find table space for it, I'm gonna have to, you know, keep it there. Um, and again, that is something that I wanted, because I wanted to be able to cut my 11 by 17s, which are really large, and if you're cutting the 17 inch side, you're gonna need something that's large enough to cut that side. So I got the 17 inch cutter. And because of that, it is larger. So if you didn't need it for something that large, you could get the, like the eight and a half by 11 one, which is a lot smaller and I'm assuming a lot um, wider. So that could be an option. But overall, um, because of the machinery, it is pretty heavy and takes up a lot of space. Also, one more con, um, no line that indicates where you're gonna cut. So once, there is a little red rubber guard um, where the cut comes down which kind of indicates where it's gonna cut, but you don't really know. What I'm gonna do to work around this is probably take a Sharpie and mark two little notches on either side so that I know where to line my prints up at so that it cuts where I want it to and not I don't have like excess or anything, but it doesn't come like that. You have to add that separately if you want to. So that's just another thing to, to think about. So that's my review of this guillotine chopper. I overall think it's a really good purchase. It wasn't cheap, like it wasn't super cheap, but it wasn't super expensive either, so that's a good option. Um, it's very professional, high quality cuts. It does exactly what I need it to. It is hard to carry, it is hard to move around, but it's, it's a piece of, you know, basically a piece of machinery, so it's not gonna necessarily be easy to move around. 
my printer isn't easy to move around, but it's exactly what I need. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, but overall, I say I would recommend this cutter. Like I said, I'm gonna link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm excited about it. Um, I think it's gonna make my 11 by 17 prints look awesome and you know, not have white borders or anything look really professional. So yeah, um, I give it a thumbs up. It could be better, it could be easier to use, it could be easier to set up, but overall, I definitely think it's worth the price. And um, I hope you guys pick it up if you want one. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too um, embarrassing and confusing. But, you know, if you take something from it, I hope it was, you know, somewhat informative and helped you pick out the right product for what you need. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you. Bye.